This is how you can animate a flag being affected by wind in Cartoon Animator 5. Right now, Cartoon Animator doesn't have wind mechanics, but we can do it really quickly with this workaround. We're gonna need Cartoon Animator 5 for this, and I have this prop. So with this prop selected, I go to Composer Mode, then I click on Bones, and then from the Bone Editor, I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to add Bones. Let me select this layer, the flag again, and then click Add Bone, and then I'm going to add a bone right here, and then in here, and then a couple of bones in here. And then at the end, I just press ESC. Then I'm going to select the first bone, add another bone, go to the top, then connect to here and add the same bones in here. Then at the end I press ESC and I'm done. Okay, so this is what we need. This would be the bone structure that I will use for this specific flag. Now I'm going to click on the spring settings right here, the spring editor, select the second bone, not the first, the second bone and then assign to group, click below, assign to group. That's it, that, with that we can already have an animation of the wind. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to go back and now I'm ready to do an animation. I'm going to select the flag, let me zoom in a little bit, and then I'm going to press letter K to bring the prop key editor and then I'm going to select this bone and I'm going to start animating. Let me open the timeline by clicking here and then in here I want to have the object related track selected in here, this button, right? And then with that, I go all the way to the top. In here, I needed to scroll up and then click on motion. That will show me this track, the transform. Now I'm going to move like five frames forward and then I'm going to drop this, like uh, I have this bone selected and just bring it down a little bit. This one will be a little bit less and then another five and then move it up both I can move both up right and then I go to the next one and then I want to be a little bit uh, random in here so this one may go down only a little bit and then another five frames and then go up much more aggressively like a big wave and then I'm going to jump like a big step in there and then drop this and basically I'm going to continue doing that for a little bit until I got a couple of keyframes here. You can see that sometimes the separation is big between the keyframes, sometimes the separation is very small. Like that means it happens really quickly. There you go, now I have seven, like around seven frames, 70 frames. So now I can just select this, all of this, and then paste it and that can be as long as I want. And I'm going to end the animation in here on the last keyframe. So I'm going to click on this button to end the animation right there. Boom, right there. And now if I close this and I select this to loop the animation and then close the timeline, we don't need it anymore. I can play the animation and now we have some wind on this flag, right? And that's how you do it.